Down, Katie knocked a picture down. <laughs> you found product placement back there? Yeah, you can buy it at the mini bar. <laughs> it's like they knew you were gonna knock it down, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, zombies. Welcome back to the ghost hunting show where we look for paranormal activity, but we might not find any. We don't fake anything, and we aim to really answer the question of whether or not these notorious places are likely to leave you with an unexplainable experience if you were to stay here yourself. Now I know you all want to be spooked, but here we believe that the truth is always more entertaining than staged entertainment. And then if we find anything that is unexplainable, it is that much more terrifying knowing it is 100% real. So strap in, because here we have Ghostbuster Creature, Ghostbuster Ripley, Katie, and me, Mikey, but spelled funny, M-Y-K-I-E. I am a skeptic and jumpy as hell, so even if we don't find a ghost, I promise you we'll still have fun. We are here today at the Glen Tavern Inn in Santa Paula, 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 Paula Abdul, California. And it is spookily hot. That's what I've learned so far. It's an oven in here. So I'm gonna take these pups out of their ghost hunting costumes because I just feel bad. Although they seem to be just fine with it. Mark? No, it's probably nothing. Mark? <laughs> <laughs> it might have been just like, you know, when you get like a spot in your field of vision, but like right over your head. Mark. Kind of. <laughs> I swear to God. Mark is always finding ghosts. I was just telling him that the, the woman that helped me check in at the front desk was saying how there's been a lot of activity here lately and people have been very happy with their stays because they've been seeing so much stuff. And then he saw something over my head. It, and then know, we rolled. It was just weird because it caught my attention immediately, even though we were in the middle of a conversation. I was yeah, like, I'm talking to him and all of a sudden he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Like a, it wasn't like I saw a ghost, like a like a person. Right, right, right. It was right. just a well, little flicker. All I see when I look at you is I see a ring. Every time I blink. Is that like a halo shine. joke? <laughs> yeah. That's the, the ring light's really bright joke. So I have a lot of guests with me today and they've all left me. So I'm gonna tell you about the hotel. Built in 1911 in Santa Paula. I can't work under these conditions. I can't work under these conditions. My glass is empty. <laughs> <laughs> Katie with the one-liners. No, that's a full glass of wine, bitch. There's a lot of ice. Are you kidding? It's filled to the brim. I have pants on, it's just hot. Me too. Sorry, I didn't mean to put my boot in your face. <laughs> Ripley doesn't have pants on. No pants on a puppy. Rip them out of the field. Out of the field? It's up the field. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. Anyway, the Glen Tavern Inn was originally known as the Santa Paula Hotel, built in 1911 in Santa Paula, California. Oh, it's gonna be like that, huh? It's gonna be like that, huh? We have guests and you can't do that or we're gonna get kicked out. I would like you to all place bets now in the comments of how long we last in this hotel, not before we find a ghost, get scared and leave, but before we get kicked out because of her. Place your bets now. I can't believe you're here with us. Ghost hunting with my dogs, ghost hunting with my dogs. You know, they say that dogs and children can see ghosts better than us crummy old adults. So that's why we brought Ripley and Peter. <laughs> Peter's a dog? Kidding, oh, a child. a child. <laughs> okay, that was a good Kidding, one. Kidding, love you. <laughs> Where was I? Let me talk into my shirt in case anybody ever liked that shtick. I'll, I'll do it for you today, just this one time. The history of the inn. I'm a little rusty, it was better before. According to the official website itself, back in the early days, don't, 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 don't. I don't know what you're gonna find under there, but it's not gonna be good. Ripley, hey, hey. I don't normally have to corral dogs while I, I do I thought you were telling day. them to don't. <laughs> don't. I was like, don't what? Don't. Hey, I'm you at home, either. put it down, get it out of your mouth, put it down. <laughs> According to the official site, back in the early days, this place housed a gambling den and a brothel. Brain. Demonetized. 
my face is censored. Now it's a parody. You can't take it away from me because it's a parody. Warner Chapel, try me. Maybe they've forgotten about me. It's been two years. Yes, I'm reading off my phone again, but not off Wikipedia this time. No, no, no. We're compiling shit these days. <laughs> All right, anyway. What you gotta say? How do you feel about being here ghost hunting? Oh, very pensive, honey. She's looking out the window. Or a ghost. Or a ghost. That's true. Imagine there's just a ghost right there and she's just... I can do this. I can get through this. Okay. So you gotta stick around the bottom of your ship. Uh, Peter, you gotta tell me these things sooner. I'll save you for later. This place housed a gambling den, a brothel, and a speakeasy. And it all happened on the third floor. Guess which floor we're on? But some people question if that's true because apparently a third floor is a very bad place to have a speakeasy during prohibition because you can't escape easily. But I'm gonna call bullshit on the person calling bullshit because there's an emergency exit right next door that goes just outside to the ground. So I saw someone else mention that perhaps the third floor was a perfect place for a speakeasy because it gives you a better vantage point to see if the popo were coming. This is adorable. Don't you wanna see this while you're also looking for ghosts? Look at her, she's itchy. We're about an hour and a half away from Los Angeles, and because of that, there have been a lot of celebrities who have stayed at this very inn, including John Wayne, Houdini, Steve McQueen, as well as Clark Gable and Rin Tin Tin. Do you know who Rin Tin Tin is? No. It's a dog, it's a famous dog. Oh. And Rin Tin Tin stayed in this very room. <gasps> famous. I hope it's haunted by the ghost of Rin Tin Tin. That would be adorable. And if it is, you two will find him, right? Right? Rip Tin Tin. Find him. She does not know what's going on, nor does she care. The inn is famous for two ghosts specifically. One is Calvin. That's her dog's That's name. That's my dog's name. Calvin is a cowboy that lives in room 308, allegedly. And I'll tell you more about him later. And the other ghost is Rose, who is a lady of the night, sex worker, who was moited, apparently beheaded, and left in the closet of room 307. Guess which room we're staying in. Guess which closet is to my left right now. There is bleach spots on the carpet in the closet. Do you think? No. A beheading is like a lot of blood. Yeah. And I will mention, this place has a lot of notable deaths. However, none of them are confirmed. So me and my little suspicious skeptic brain is already suspicious. And on that note, I want you to remain skeptical as well, especially because this place has a bit of a controversial history in terms of whether or not it really is haunted or not. Or at least there's reason to believe that the origins of its haunting stories come at a semi-convenient time. A woman took over ownership and it was really struggling to stay afloat. And around that time when business was struggling, all of a sudden she started to claim that this place was haunted and she was seeing things and hearing things and the Owners that eventually took back the inn claim it is not haunted, it never was, and that she's full of it. But even after she didn't own the inn anymore, she stood firm in believing that this place was haunted by paranormal activity. So did she make it up to garner more business here? Maybe. It's a good way to get people to come here because even though a lot of people wouldn't stay at a haunted hotel, a lot of people seek them out. You know, weirdos, complete unhinged weirdos. Wouldn't want to hang out with them, wouldn't want to know any of them. Freaks. As soon as I found out that one of the ghost names was Calvin, I was like, that's perfect because Katie was gonna do the next one with us. She's got a Calvin at home. Also, I noticed that there's a theme that anytime Katie is ghost hunting with us, there's a sex worker that's been murdered. Mm. What is that, Katie? One and the same. You're a sex worker? I work and I have sex. <laughs> Ruby, come here, pop, pop, ready, go! Yeah! So everybody just left to go down to eat and I decided to stay here because if I'm not in the room with them in a place that they don't know, they will just cry and scream and we can't have that. So I walked up to the door and I put the key card up to the door and I went to push and I could not open the door. It was completely, completely stuck. It didn't feel jammed. I felt like it was like glued to the other side of the frame it wouldn't budge at all. So I thought maybe there was like a glitch where it said green like the lock was unlocked, but maybe it was still locked. So I did it a second time. I pushed really hard this time and it still would not budge. So I got my camera out to record it. We've had lots of other places. It's a oh, 
I swear to God, it was just stuck. I was pushing with all my force and it wouldn't open. And as soon as I started to record it open, that was so weird. Oh, <laughs> that was not a ghost, that was the dogs. That was so weird, it was just completely stuck. That is either a glitchy lock or a ghost did that. There's no other explanation. It's one or the other. Should I tell you more about the history while we're here? I might as frickin' well, right? So I don't have to inconvenience all my cool friends. Calvin is a tall, thin cowboy with long hair, beard, goatee, and he wears a white shirt. A lot of people think that he's playing a cowboy and he's actually an actor. So he's not like a genuine cowboy. He is a Hollywood cowboy. Here's the thing about Calvin that I think is weird. He's also been known as TJ and Wilbur in the past. How does a ghost just change names? I understand ghosts having nicknames that are different, but like entirely new names? You're telling me this man's name was Thomas James, Wilbur, and Calvin? Is anyone checking this guy's ID? Is he legally changing his name? How do we know it's the same ghost if he's got a different name? I think that's sus if you're asking me. Calvin was allegedly shot in the head for cheating at cards in the gambling den, which happened on this floor. So I assume that room 308 is Calvin's because the gambling den must have been in 308, which is at the opposite end of the hall. Even though we are 307, the rooms could not be further apart. It's kind of interesting. Allegedly, the inn's official site says that at one point years ago, they found a cowboy hat in the walls of this place with bullet holes in it, but it has since been lost or stolen. I find that to be very convenient, but it is possible. Creature just stared at the corner. Creature just stared at the corner of the ceiling. He did, he did, I swear. He just did one of the things that dogs do that's so scary where they go. Hold on, I gotta film this. He's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it. Are you self-aware, bud? Come here, come here. You're spooking ma, you're spooking ma. Don't cry, I hate it. Stop, what are you doing? Okay, good boy, yeah, come on the bed where it's safe. Safe with ma, yeah. No ghosties allowed, good boy. So anyway, like I was saying, what was I saying? I don't even know. Oh yeah, the hat, it's been lost or stolen. Calvin has been seen walking through walls and has also allegedly been caught on camera. Do I have photo evidence of this? No, I do not. If a picture had ever been taken of a full body apparition, I'd put that shit everywhere, everywhere. And yet it's so weird to me that there can be stories of him being caught on camera, but where's, where's, I swear to God, I just saw, okay, so I hope it's still recording, Jesus. There's a monitor above the camera right now, but it's turned off, there's no battery in it, so it's just a black screen. It's like, you know, basically a reflective surface. I swear to God, I just saw a like, like a flash of light, like a little twinkle that would have been, let's see if I try to work out the reflection. It'd be right here above my head. I just saw it. I swear to God, I just saw it, but there's nothing there. And I don't know what would cause that. I wonder if that's what Mark saw. Am I losing it? I hope I'm still recording. I am, oh good. I hope you saw it. I hope you saw it. That was very weird. Suspicious. I don't see anything that would cause that. Anyway, like I was saying, I think it's weird that there's no photo evidence of the ghost caught on camera. Here, there, anywhere. I say that as I hope I just caught one on camera and I probably didn't, but I swear I saw like a little twinkle. Anyway, so this room is associated with a visible mist as well as sudden cold spots, unseen voices, and knocks, which may be or may not be Rose. And the story goes that she was working here at the on-site brothel on floor three, presumably in this room, when she was murdered, beheaded, and left in this closet where a maid found her. We can find no confirmation of this story anywhere. Maybe it's possible. It is a big closet. Now, Calvin and Rose are the only two officially mentioned on the site, but there are reportings of ghost children. A couple claims that they stayed here and in the middle of the night, they saw an actual little girl walking around in their room, 205, but she couldn't have been a real girl. So either that child was very lost or it was never a real child to begin with. It was a ghost. People have seen a phantom red-haired woman out of a third floor window, which I'm gonna guess is this room. Because if you look at the front of the building, the only third floor window you can see from the front is this room and maybe 308. Maybe. Where have I heard this story before? A red-haired woman named Rose. I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. 
People have seen a man in overalls on the front porch who's sitting there and then he vanishes. People have heard a woman giving a speech or like a toast in room 104. Maybe it was just a real woman giving a speech or a toast. Did you ever think of that? Unless they're in room 104 with her. The TV just made a sound. <laughs> TV just made another sound. That was a bug, right? <laughs> a ghost. One source claims that room 306 houses a ghost named Jennifer who died in the 1930s. Yet again, no record of this. I'm not saying the place isn't haunted, okay? I don't know that yet. Gaston Melly, the older, less famous brother of George Melly, Melly, Melly. Oh my God. Tell me you heard that. That wasn't a ghost. I think that was a gunshot. My heart is racing. Time to text the friends. <laughs> okay, I'm coming at you live from the lower part of the bed where I'm below the windows so I don't get shot. You didn't hear a gunshot? Nope. I almost want you to look at the footage because I jumped off the bed. <laughs> it was very loud. Oh, how long have I not been filming for? Mark, um, I have a question for you. What's that? First, witnesses, can you please confirm that we have not discussed this off camera while we were eating? No one knows what I'm about to ask him? I do no. not know what you're about to ask him. <laughs> can you describe the thing you saw above my head? A little thing that went over your head that looked like a reflection or a flash of light. Why, did you see something? Yeah, I did. When you guys were gone, see how the monitor's off, it's black, it's basically like a little reflective surface? Yeah. I was sitting right there looking at the monitor even though it was off, and I swear, I swear, I saw like a little twinkle of light right like above where my head would have been. You were sitting there and it was above your head? Well, that's pretty weird. Oh, wait. It was like a little twinkle. And it was just a flash of like pfft. Yeah, that's pretty weird. And I try to like replicate it by doing things with my hands or my jewelry or like seeing if like a car could have done it and there's not what, 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 I what? Just Stop. Fucking saw it again. No, you didn't. But here. Let's go, bitch. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my god, that was Did like you really? I swear. Katie, unzip my boots. I'm wearing pants. You see how it almost reflects around the wall? What is that reflecting? M metallic sticker? sticker. Right? A spider, no. <laughs> that's what I'm seeing. So that's clearly on the wall. This looked like that, but in the air. Yeah. Like closer to me. I wish you were here when I saw it, because I freaked that's out. That's a nice spider. No, 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 no. I don't want no, it dropping close. on my head true. when I'm sleeping. Okay, sure, but make sure you kill it. And don't I'm break it, please, don't break, please. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to put it out the window. Isn't the window open? The window's not open. No. Oh. Katie. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Katie's standing on a nightstand. Wait, I dropped him. Holding a wine and an EMF and a spider. <laughs> Wait, where did he oh, go? Oh, I like how she, I didn't even realize she's still holding the wine in her <laughs> other hand. This was a better solution. Was that now we don't know where the spider is at Oh, all. shut up. You are the king, Peter. The king of please, Peter, kill the spider for yeah, me. Peter. And then you lose it. Then, do you know how many spiders I've lost with you? And by I, I mean you. Do you know how many nightmares I've had about you going to kill a spider for me and you just lose it? No. Katie. <laughs> Katie is crawling on you. Nick is in my sleeve. <laughs> I think I feel him in no. You know what? He's on you and he's gonna be on you until you go to sleep and oh, he's, he's gonna crawl again. on me. Katie, murder him, please. The, I'm, what I'm recording right now without any context seems like Katie's a cat and you're laser pointing and Katie's just trying to catch the laser. Is it it's open? No, I have him. Be free. Be free. I probably just killed him after all that. Find a new home. Not on our faces at night. Katie's gonna man the EMF reader and I'm gonna man the rip and then. You see a ghost, honey? What mm -mm. about in this corner? Oh, we got a foot on the lampshade. Is that where the ghost is, honey? Okay, what about over here? Is there a ghost in this painting? Oh, a ghost. She booped it. Test it. To be fair, she boops everything. Open the closet. Let's see if her belief feels uncomfy in the closet. Oh, she's interested. It's because there's a pizza in there. There's no pizza in here. How do you feel? Anything? Creature doesn't like the closet. You want to be picked up and carried around like a little baby? All right, what about this corner? Come on, Abby. Did you walk away with you? Okay, there's more spiders in here for you to get. What about the roof? Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Do you know that you're conscious? Do you know that that's you? 
No, no, it's on the vibes. I love it. Do you remember we were talking about we wanted to bring the dogs in case they thought they saw a ghost? Yeah. And we've been ignoring creature mm-hmm. under like, us. Like, guys, guys, he's like, guys, guys, don't don't alarm you. But um, literally ghosts all over the place. Yeah. Do you see a ghost in this bathroom? What about you, bud? I feel like seeing that this thing isn't doing anything makes me believe more things at the other place because it really worked at the other place. You haven't gotten anything, right? Nothing. You want to check out the bathtub? Okay, let's check out the bathtub. Any ghosts? Nope. No? (laughs) You're not even wet. (laughs) She feels like I just got a bath. That was reverse psychology. You're not even wet. I'll help you. Come on, jump up here. Come on. I got you. Yeah, there you go. All right, creature, it's your turn. It's gonna last for 10 seconds because you're a big, chunky boy. Lift from the legs, not from the back, okay. All right, bud, see any ghosts? He definitely looks like he sees ghosts. He always kind of looks like that, though. Do you see a ghost creature? Do you see ghosts in the mirror? Anything? He's looking around. He doesn't look happy. <laughs> he looks very sad. Ah! Alright, buddy, I'm gonna put you down. He looks like he's 150 pounds. <laughs> he's very heavy. There was a little flicker. Just oh. a tiny little flick. There was. Okay, a little more flicker if you're in here. Katie he sounds annoyed with the ghost. Just a little flicker. Did it actually flicker when you shook it? Like when? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Maybe she comes out at night. Well, it is night. Well, more night. More night. Mm-hmm. Wait, Katie's microphone is dangling by her butt. Katie, your mic's not on. <laughs> oh no, I have two. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I have this one. Oh wait, did it fall? <laughs> Frick. Can you hear me? Why did you think you had two mics on? No, because I thought clips. I did. Oh. She has two clips. <laughs> Why is it around your whole body? <laughs> Can you try to strangle yourself with a mic? It doesn't have to be like wrapped around you. <laughs> yeah, uh, spin around. What the f? Where the f is this going? Yo, for real? I feel like I'm going crazy right now. I was like, wow, there's a really cold spot behind Katie, but it's your water bottle. <laughs> Is this cold? Yes. Very. Katie, Where drinking wine. <laughs> I was gonna try to hold my mouth up and be like, "Is that cold?" But then I talked and everything fell out. Look, I can see the studs in the ceiling. How cool is that? What? Let's check the closet. Don't, don't, don't. Your pizza's hot. Oh my god! I was like, "Is that a person?" Just an ironing board. Pretty cool. Yeah. There's something very eerie about it. Oh, for sure. Cause you know, if you see something, yeah, <laughs> it's bad news. Cause you really shouldn't with this. Should we check the bathroom? Oh, you look scary, honey. Look at how spooky you look. Oh my goodness. What a cute little ghost dog you are. Wow. I like it in here. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. The camera's hot. <laughs> Toilet's cold. Katie, spooky. My hot or cold? Hot. You're hot. He's sniffing the bottom of the door right now. Peter, look. He was just sniffing the bottom of the door and then crying. Oh my god, you look so scary. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Hell no. Ghost Peter's very scary. Oh, can you take a picture of the two of us before I leave? With our outfits, because it's obligatory. Our outfits? 
Well, your outfit. <laughs> 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 Got a lot going on, Katie. Can you get to your jelly beans? <laughs> <laughs> you packing for the winter? <laughs> she just packs the jelly beans in her I'm gonna need these Next there. to the gum. Next to the pickle juice. What do you think's gonna happen out there that you're gonna need all those things? What do you have under your shirt? What Mince. is this? Jelly beans. Mints and jelly beans. Mm. And the e and the e <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Katie's ready to go stunt. If the EMF is like perfectly being used, <laughs> where it's like on, but it's just under her shirt. It's, it's on. Going crazy right now. Go crazy, Katie. Know that. We're gonna go pangos. Do it. Have fun. Can you babysit the dogs? Yes. Thank you. Stay here. Be good. But wait, before we do that, have you heard of the brand Vessie? This sneaker's gonna change your life. Vessi makes sneakers that will be your absolute best option to put right beside your front door because you never have to worry about what the weather will be. Why? Because they're 100% waterproof. They're made from Dymatex, which is a dual climate knit material that keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the colder weather. You might expect a waterproof shoe to be bulky, uncomfortable, and unflattering, but Vessi's are super comfortable, lightweight, breathable, and stylish. I like wearing mine to the beach because they're also sandproof, which is really important when you're chasing seagulls. I also love to wear these to travel because they're easy to take on and off through security, they're so comfy they feel like I'm wearing slippers, and then no matter what the weather is at my travel destination, I know I'll be completely covered. I absolutely love these and that's why Vessies are my go-to shoes by my door at all times. Check them out in the link below, vessie.com slash Mikey, and use code Mikey for $25 off your pair of Vessie shoes. You will not regret it. <laughs> it's actually, these pictures are pretty cool. Let's sit in there. You sit in there. Is that supposed to do something? I don't know, but it looks spooky, doesn't it? Dude, that is really weird. That guy's not applying for a job. <laughs> Hit your back. <laughs> Where did he say to go? The ladies' room? Yeah, the ladies' room lobby. Is it okay if we film as long as there's no guests around? Okay, thanks. It's so pretty in here. Look, I was like, we're playing. Oh, 
sounds just like Ripley. It keeps going out of focus, which is weird. I wonder how they plan on hiring that kid. He's pretty determined. Oh yeah, do it. Let's try to have a conversation. I'm waiting for Calvin. Okay, so supposedly Calvin has been seen hanging out in the ladies' restroom in the lobby, which is right here. That's so typical. <laughs> Go ahead, Katie. Be brave. Okay, thanks. So. Crazy. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So you get a lot of weirdos in here, and not like us, obviously we're not weird. <laughs> obviously we're not weird, but anyone else. Outside we get a lot of weirdos, yeah. So I think he hangs out here, I guess, on the couch. So we should do the thermal camera. That's right. Oh, there is an orb sitting on that couch. Really? Go sit there and try the EMF reader. <laughs> Literally nothing. Alright. These seats are warm, but that's because Katie's butt was right there. And my butt was right there. Question actually, so we're staying in 307, and does that door notoriously stick ever, or lock, even when it says it's unlocking, like the green light is on, but it doesn't open? Oh, it says green, but it won't open it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've never had that. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It happened to me twice. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You ever seen anything? <clears throat> Heard anything? I see stuff, yeah. You do? Quite often, yeah. Often? That's a good description. Is there any spot here you'd recommend we check out in particular? Uh, I could probably take you guys to the banquet room.
Got anything over there, Katie? I'm trying to take pictures of you and it won't let me, which is really strange. Why won't it let me? That's a really strange. We were, I mean, you saw, we were just taking a bunch of pictures. Yeah. All of a sudden it won't let me. There we go. Weird. Thanks for showing us. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, oh, perfect. Thank you so much. You too. I was like scared if I like actually felt something, but I like immediately got goosebumps. That's crazy. What the frick? Okay, ask me questions. It went away. Um, go back to that spot. Maybe it's that spot. <gasps> it is that spot. Okay. All right. Well, ask the questions. Um, I don't know. I don't want to talk to it. Is your name Calvin? Is your name? same area a second ago and it wasn't red. 
No. Yeah. It's right here, so we got over. Oh, nice. I hear that this is one of the more haunted rooms. So uh, that's cool. Where you guys are at. Oh yeah. Six, three oh seven, and Thank you for letting us see it. I was really curious. Thank you. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. We just heard like a loud sound. Do you ever hear stuff like that? All the time. All the time? Yeah. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> and it went wild in front of 308. Really? It was stuck really? on red. <laughs> I can't breathe. In one specific spot? Like it wasn't by the door lock or anything, right? Yeah, it's right outside of 308. Crazy. It was just, it was just doing a thing. It might have just doing it. It stopped as soon as I recorded. Probably Ripley stepping on it. No, look at her. She's stepping all around it now. It was just going crazy. How can you be a ghost in here when there's a baby in here? How could I be a ghost when there's just a baby? You're just a baby. Kill the lights. Spirit box time. Okay, we are in room 307 in the Glen Tavern Inn. It is completely pitch black in here. It is me, Katie, Mark, Peter, Ripley, and Creature. Creature does not want to be in the closet, but Ripley does. She's our little sidekick. Creature, just get in here now. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Honestly, Come. Creature's acted pretty weird. We have the oomph right here. It's been, oh, 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 oh. Hello, hello, okay, hello. Um. Hello, ghost. It is very nice to meet you. Um, we come in peace. We are not looking to start a fight. Thank you for joining us in this closet. We have some things we'd love to learn about you if you'd love to tell us. Uh, we have our furry friends with us, so please be nice. We're going to use the spirit box, if you don't mind, to see if we can learn anything about you. So anything you'd like to say, please say it through the spirit box. And please, like I said, be very nice to Ripley. She's a very good girl. She loves ghosts. Oh, 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 it's red right there. Hmm. But like not flashing. It's but like... that's what it was like in the middle of the air in front of room 308. Lift it to the ground. Mm -hmm. It's not focusing now. That's interesting. When you take it off the ground and it's still doing it, that's a little weird. Ripley, are you? Is Ripley, or is, oh. she, is it trying to speak through her? Oh, are you, you a vessel? Going, I think are that you, you gotta vessel? turn the spirit box on. Okay, let's turn it on. Honey, be careful, your little head, I don't want it to get possessed. Huh, all of a sudden, did I have this on in my pocket? What? Is, uh, my flashlight won't turn on. That's so weird. When we were down in the banquet hall, the photo option on this camera suddenly wouldn't work. Hmm. When we were first down there, like I was taking a bunch of pictures, it wouldn't work, and then all of a sudden it started working. All right, let's talk while we have you. Tell us something, ghost. And then now it works. Battery level's low. Like, clearly, oh, it doesn't. Oh, oh, okay. the camera just died. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, what do you have to say? How do we just say we get it to AM? I don't know how. You press, you press it a couple of times. 
So we need a camera oh. though. Yeah, so. I need you to hear. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, I think about what it. Is you know that? I need you to hear. It's pretty popular. Alright. Where's the camera? It's the camera down. And it goes, I need you to hear. What do we That's need to hear? Okay, alright, hold on, hold on. Yo! What? what is happening? What? My heart's pounding. What, what happened? <laughs> it was, fl my phone was flashing, going like this in that footage. Like, bright flashing. You scared the shit Did out of me. Did you just get, what's it called? Did you just get a, uh, text? Oh, yeah, look, 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 look. Wait. Okay, when the screen is on. Okay. Okay. So the screen must have been on. Oh my god, Mark. So I looked at the thing and I'm like, why is it flashing? No, it was like bright. Yeah, actually. It's like going. All right, we got AM scanning. If you're still with us, oh, you are still with us. Okay. Can you talk to Ripley for a second? No. Oh, did you hear no? Yes, I heard no too. <laughs> Sorry, Rip. Sorry, Rip. She was very focused. Oh, good girl. What you got there? You're a very good ghost hunter. The best one I've ever seen. The floofiest, the cutest. All right, Ripley, let's you try see, this again. You see Creature over there? The least active ghost hunter? Oh, oh, bud. I hope he's okay. I hope he just is like, yo, there's a fucking ghost in that closet. You guys are all idiots. Uh, no, honestly, I was saying Creature is the most intuitive one and that's why he's staying out of here. <laughs> that would be very eerie, if so. She's asleep, her head. She's asleep with her head on the EMF reader. <laughs> this is the cutest ghost hunting you've ever seen. It's really consistent there, it's very strange. This is like, there's nothing electrical under there, but that's where she died. They like added this step or something. I mean, it's one of the two, right? No She's between. under the step. Oh my god, I won't say that. And Ripley's asleep taking a little cat nap. Or she's trying to talk to her. You guys don't want to close the door? Nope. Mark, ask it a question. What color is your hair? It was what? Pretty and what? I thought it said it was pretty and ugly. That's what I heard too. <laughs> I thought I heard it was pretty and long, which would have been weirder. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really think. I'm gonna really, really think. I'm opening up my brain right now. I... I'm ready for anything to prove me wrong. It's not a test, it's not a challenge, but I'm open-minded and I'm gonna think real hard. Is there something you want us to know? I don't know, but it sounded demonic. Yeah. All right, I'm asking one more question. We're gonna leave for the night, so if there's some kind of warning you'd want to give people. What would it be? The end of the Did that just say the end of the world? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Kate, okay. the biggest smile on her face. Okay, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I kind of want to go in with the door closed. You know what, Mark? Ooh. Have at it. Have fun. I'm saying goodbye. goodbye back. To whoever is in here, I say goodbye. Um, please torture Mark now. Yeah, have fun. Not for me. <laughs> Didn't she say listen earlier? She said, I want you to hear. So maybe we're supposed to do a... Oh, an EVP, EVP. session. What's that? You're right. Yeah. We should do an EVP session. Yes. Hey, I just want you to know something. It was really nice knowing you, and uh, I'm glad we've been friends. But also, this is the stupidest way to die. We are in the murder closet with the door closed by ourselves. Can you tell me your name? I ask that you give me a sign now. If you don't have a sign to give me now, then we're going to move on. So if you're in here, let me know.
Nothing really of note. I think it's really interesting that when we went down in the banquet room, I couldn't take pictures all of a sudden with that camera, but I was just taking pictures with it. It like held off for about 30 seconds and then I could take pictures again suddenly. Your flashlight didn't work at all for a little bit, about 30 seconds, and then it turned on again. Yeah. The electronics on that door didn't work for about 30 seconds and then it worked again. You're right, when it said, I want you to hear, that might not have meant the spirit box, that might have meant it wants to talk to us through an EVP session. I mean, if there isn't it, who knows? So let's do an EVP session. Commencing EVP session. Hello, ghosts. If anybody's in this room right now, could you please give us some kind of sign? What's your favorite scary movie? What's your name? Were you murdered in this room? If you were murdered, do you know who killed you? Do you like dogs? Does it ever do anything? No, this is one where you only find out in post. You listen after the fact. Oh. And a lot of times on ghost hunting shows, you hear like a whisper that's like, yes, or something. But we hope whoever you are, you are able to find some peace. And I hope we didn't disturb you too much tonight with our shenanigans. Goodbye. I'm not satisfied with uh, the volume levels we can bring it to immediately right now. It's something that we're gonna have to do in post in editing. So if we found anything weird in the EVP, we will share it with you now. Otherwise, I think maybe EVPs are full of shit. You just have someone slightly off camera going, yes. That scared me. What's that? It's the bridge turning on. Does it say what the f? Does that sound like what the f? Yeah. That sound like what the f? Who has a question? Is there something you want us to know? What the f? It definitely sounded like what the f. Some kind of warning you want to give. It kind of sounds like individual. Mm. I still hear it. The end of the world. Laurel. Annie. <laughs> 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 that's, I mean, honestly, that's that's all this ever is. A lot of stuff. Unless it was John. It was John is non negotiable, bitch. When you slow it down, it sounds like the end of the world. That sounds like the end of the world. I don't hear that at all. You don't hear it? No. What do you, what hear? Do you hear? The individual. I hear the end of the world. I hear the individual. And it stops, like it cuts off. I hear like that. What it do you hear? Like it's hearing, it's... So originally, before you guys ever thought that you heard the end of the world, I thought that it said the individual. Huh. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. Oh no, yeah, if I more. try to picture the end of the world, I can hear that, but that's not what I originally heard the first Let time. Me, Write about it in the comments. Which one is it? Is it the end of the world, which is way spookier and definitely what it said, or <laughs> did it say the individual, which is stupid? The end of the world. That first Did it say black? Did it? Like red. <laughs> oh, it's that one. White? That sounded like white. <laughs> Live? Live. Life? Live? Yeah. Blue. <laughs> you talking to me for a second? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> The ghost has a boundary, yeah. and it says, I do not talk to dogs. We can't corrupt them. We must protect the dogs. You never know. Maybe he would have talked to Creature. He's like, I've been talking to Creature. <laughs> That's why Creature's in the corner. Creature. Okay, let's say goodnight. Good night. No. This is Peter's bedroom for the night. While we sleep comfortably in our queen-size bed. Right, Katie? Wait, yeah, what? <laughs> Exactly. I'm building a fort. You're right, Peter is the child. No girls allowed. <laughs> oh, okay, bye. What about Ripley? 
one girl that. <laughs> All right guys, so if you ever visit this place, just know that it's really not that scary, this closet. It's chill enough that Peter decided to sleep in here, so. Was a woman found beheaded in here? I don't know. But now, we have video evidence that some really cute shit happened in this closet too. Is anything about this spooky to you? Oh, you get a face massage? Whoa. Are you sleeping in here with Peter? You guys ready for bed? You gotta read them a bedtime story. Good morning! I know what you're thinking. Mikey, did you seriously sleep in your makeup? And the answer is twofold. One, no, I'm just this good. I can make it look like it's a day old. And B, no, because I didn't sleep. So, trick question. Why didn't I sleep, you ask? Let me tell you. It's because this room is so scary that, actually that's not true, I just need sound to fall asleep and I felt bad watching something while Katie was next to me and Peter was in the closet. By the way, he really did sleep in the closet, right? <laughs> yeah. Katie, <laughs> thoughts? Uh the closet? Yes. <laughs> I don't have thoughts. Okay, great. Thoughts until an hour after I wake up. That's why we have the Red Bull. The most adorable thing this morning. It was so cute to wake up and see Ripley jump off the bed and just crawl into the closet with Peter. <laughs> Could you stretch out? Do you consent to being in the closet? Yeah. Can you go on the record as saying that I did not put you in the closet where a beheaded woman was found? Yes. Don't at me. That was gracious of you. I would have said no. <laughs> On the record. <laughs> Katie, did you consent to sleeping in a bed with me? I did. Did you consent to sleeping next to me while I ate lamb chops? No. She ate a f***ing lamb chop at 3 in the morning after she had said goodnight to everyone. It was pitch black in here <laughs> and out of nowhere she decided to get up and eat her lamb chops. <laughs> Oh, but while you're really still here at the end of the video, you wanna know if anything spooky happened overnight. Yes, things did happen overnight, actually. And Katie doesn't know about a damn one of them because she's been literally cocooned, literally cocooned as seen here. Wake up and butterfly into the butterfly you're meant to be. All right, so here's some shit that happened, ready? No one else is gonna tell you about this because only I experienced all of them. I looked up in the middle of the night at one point, it must have been like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and Mr. Creature was sitting at the foot of the bed and he was doing this. And you know, he was doing that face. You know the face, Peter, that was like, pure doom. I think perhaps Creature is on to the ghosts the most. So that's my thought there. The first thing that happened when I looked at Ripley once it was daylight hours and people were starting to get up is she looked at me, made quick eye contact, and then looked right above my head. This way? Right here, which is where Mark saw some shit, which is where I saw some shit. Tinkerbell looking spark. I think this hotel is haunted by Tinkerbell. It gets better, there's more. This morning while you were sleeping, above your head, Peter and I heard a tapping noise. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it was pretty loud at first. He was talking and I was like, wait, 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 wait. I hear something. Right there in that corner where we were doing stuff last night, where Mark said he saw that twinkly light last night. Again. The tapping sound was coming from that corner right there. And if you remember what it looks like on the outside of this room, there's nothing on the outside of this corner. It's just a roof and it's not a roof you can stand on. I didn't catch the loudest portion of it, but I caught the last few taps. I'm gonna put it right here so you can hopefully hear it. Sounds like it's coming from this corner. Katie's sleeping through a ghost right now with her fucking lamb chops right next to her. <laughs> but that's real. That's completely real. Because we don't fake anything. We don't fake anything. Granted. I think about this sometimes where I'm like, no one's gonna give a shit about a tap. I know that you're used to watching crap ghost hunting shows on TV and there's like a full body apparition and a loud crash and this and this and all these big things. Yeah, they catch these big things every time because they're fake. But when that shit happens, it's genuinely really unsettling because I don't really know how to explain the fact that there was tapping right there where nobody could possibly be. Also in the corner where Mark saw something. So I'm not saying it's paranormal, but I am saying I don't know how to explain it with science at the moment. Anyway, that's not all I found. There's blood in the bathroom, you guys. There's blood? Yeah, there's blood in the bathroom. Ew. No one caught that? What did you say for yourself? We're investigators. Did you investigate all of this place, Peter? We should bring black lights the next time. No, I don't want to actually know. <laughs> there's a couple drops on the floor, which made me investigate, and I found some like splatter pattern looking blood drops. We need Dexter to end better. What do you think that's from? 
Okay, now I can talk shit about Peter. What do you want to say? I know I talk shit about Peter a lot on camera, but I like him. He's cool. Peter's actually a pretty great guy. He's very sweet, very generous, very helpful. He's always there for you. You know, you can count on him. Like, if suddenly you were getting murdered by someone, you could just call him and he would stop the murder. Yeah, which is a great kind of friend to have. Also, he loves dogs. So, anyone that's a friend of my dogs is a friend of mine. I concur. Although he's a little slow, it's taken him a while to find this blood. But, you know, we can't all be perfect. Like if someone slept in their makeup, they just wouldn't be perfect. Oh my god, you're back! We totally weren't talking shit about you! Uh, there was definitely blood, but... What do you mean, but? I don't know where it came from. From a human? Well, yeah. He saw the blood, Katie. How does that make you feel? I'm not going in there. No potty for Katie. You're gonna have to hold it. Well, in conclusion, I think a lot happened here that is definitely eerie, is definitely strange, but it was like a lot of little things. Thank you for joining us at the Glen Tavern Inn. Let us know in the comments if you think this place is actually haunted or not. I gotta crawl. Hold on, hold on. Goodbye. Rippy, come here. Who are you gonna crawl? Oh, you're so cute. She's like Child Protective Services. <laughs> <laughs>